I've told you before on the radio, I am quite literally paid to have an opinion in my job on everything. You want to know my opinion on domestic drones? Ban them. No domestic drones in the skies over Florida or the skies over America. Go full bore using drones to blow Al-Qaeda to smithereens overseas. I'm all on board with that. But I've got to tell you, decisions are going to have to be made shortly in this country, driven by the Federal Aviation Administration, on what the regulations are for this exploding drone technology that allows very, very sophisticated aircraft, small aircraft, to fly all over the place in the skies. We just had a situation that has been revealed that we almost had a jetliner shot down in the skies over Tallahassee. Not shot down, but brought down by a small drone that almost hit the plane. If that drone, with its heavy-duty lithium battery had gone into the engine, aviation experts say that plane would have come down. And all the people on it, probably dead. The FAA says in five years, we will likely have at any given moment in this country 7,500 of these drones in the air being used for a variety of purposes. Some of them, agricultural purposes, survey the crops, law enforcement's getting into this, look out for the bad guys, but the potential for abuse is so enormous, I think we have to ban domestic drones. I don't think it will happen, but trust me, in Budtopia, that would become the law of the land. How are you going to sort out the good drones for the bad drones and the good operators for the bad operators? What about the potential to initiate terrorist attacks with these small drones? What about the potential for the government and law enforcement to be snooping on all of us from above with drones we can't see and we can't hear? Ban domestic drones. The Bud Man is on record. That's what I think. What do you think? Hey, join me for the next edition of Bud Hedinger Live right here on News Radio 1025 WFLA, and I'll look for you then.